Well, it's Friday, and if you were hoping for a cold front to start off the weekend, well, that's about as likely as me growing a full head of hair. It's not going to happen this time around. Let's talk about the forecast, nevertheless, in today's edition of the Texas Weather Round. <laughs> Good morning, it is Friday, the 28th of July, 2023. I'm Texas Storm Chasers Baldy and Chief David Reimer. We are heading into another, well, I guess not really heading into as much as continuing in the hot weather pattern, which is what happens during the summer here in the state of Texas. Typically, without any sort of tropical mischief interfering, and that's the only way we're going to end up really having much of a cool down over the next five to ten days, it looks like. Let's just get into it. First off, here is the forecast rain totals over the next five days through the state of Texas. And you can see that map is more blank than the top of my head. I mean, at least I've got a beard. But at this point, even uh, this map is not great looking. We need rain. Uh, we need rain not only to alleviate the developing drought, flash drought in some cases, but we need the rain to make things stop burning. Uh, speaking of wildfire danger, here we go. Today through Sunday, you can see pretty much high, very high, locally extreme wildfire danger expected across the state from the Texas A&M Forest Service. They have at least eight task forces pre-staged in various regions to help with initial attack activities and hopefully keep these fires from going into the extended attack mode, which means after about 24 hours, if they're still having to deal with it. That's the extended attack portion of a wildfire incident. And we're starting to see some of those fires develop into the extended attack. Uh, the fire in Hill County, the Blum Fire, for example, that's been going on. This will be the third day, I believe. They're still dealing with some containment issues, but at least it didn't go haywire like it did two days ago on the first day during the initial attack period. But again, certainly the potential for additional fast-moving, potentially damaging wildfires to materialize, especially in the wildland urban interface where we have structures that can be threatened pretty quickly. So please be mindful of the heightened wildfire danger. Make sure you're not dragging any change with your trailers. Make sure you're not throwing cigarettes out the window. And if you are throwing cigarettes out the window, I hope someone bops you on the head for being that dumb. But, hey, you know what? Uh, we can just give out the information at some point. Some folks just have to deal with the consequences of their actions. Speaking of which, let's just take a look at the temperature forecast, because this is going to make everyone want to find a pool or the Gulf Coast. Uh... Either way, all I know is if I go out in this, my head's going to get sunburned pretty darn quick. High temperatures today, as you can see, upper 90s to triple digits. Looks like the hot spot for today will be down the Rio Grande Plains and also across portions of northwest Texas, western north Texas. High temperatures in the 105 to 107 range as we head into tomorrow. That kind of expands a little further to the west, into west central Texas, back in the north Texas. We're looking at 102 to 107. Same thing goes across the hill country down to the Rio Grande Plains. It's going be hot regardless i mean i know we're just nitpicking here at who's going to be the hottest of them all but we're all going to be pretty darn hot is sunday it gets even worse at this point that's 107 and graham 106 and childress 105 there in burleson slash fort worth 103 and austin uh houston 99 to 102 with the heat index closer to 110 that's not going to be pleasant. Here's Monday. Now, this is pretty darn nasty heat. You can see we've got widespread 103 to 109 across the state. And again, this could be one of the hotter days we've dealt with so far in 2023. And Tuesday, uh, probably going to be the exact same thing. This is going to continue until we get rain. As soil moisture continues to dwindle, we're able to efficiently heat more quickly. And that's why we're starting to climb on the thermostat while the humidity and dew point values are coming down versus, you know, the mid-upper 70 dew points we had three, four weeks ago because of all of the soil moisture. Now we're dealing with dew points mixing down to the 60s during the afternoon. But the vice versa effect is we're also able to heat more efficiently. So it may not feel as humid out, but it's hotter. It really doesn't make a difference, let's be honest. It's hot regardless of it being humid hot. Temperatures in the 90s, heat index values of 120, or, you know, the temperature being 105 to 110, the heat index being within a couple degrees. It's hot. The side effect now is that the lower humidity means we're burning. All right, so that's going to be it for the Texas Weather Roundup as we head through the weekend into early next week. Uh, again, 
At this point, no major cooldowns in sight. It looked like we might have a pattern shift that could have brought a bit of an increase in precipitation chances in about 8 to 10 days. That's not as ambitious in weather model data this morning, but, I mean, there's always hope, right? Regardless, the heat dome may shift further to the west in the first week of August, which would bring us some minor relief and maybe increase some afternoon thunderstorm chances, but I'm not too hopeful of that right now. Uh, otherwise, it doesn't look like we're going to be hit by a hurricane in the next 10 days here in the western Gulf of Mexico. That's a good thing. Typically in El Nino years, the Atlantic Tropical Basin is a little more uh, less active. But again, it only takes one storm to become, well, a bad year. So we'll be keeping an eye out for sure as we continue into August and early September. With that being said, y'all have a great weekend. We'll have the next regular Texas Weather Roundup out by 7 a.m. on Monday. Y'all have a good weekend. Stay cool. God bless.